Hi. <laughs> Just ate and had a pepper in my throat. Mm. Anyways, yeah, sorry. Then I got done a little late. Anyway, um, it's Tuesday, Tuesday, right? I can't remember anymore. You never have. Um, I keep wondering about Friday stream on Tuesdays. I don't know why. Hi. Hello, Mike. Oh. Um, <clears throat> where were we on this one? Still got to do the lip sync on that. So to figure out what to do there. I think we were working on the camera a little bit for. Oh, we were working on the scene build. That's what it was. So you're getting there. I don't know if I like the bump map being this strong on the edge here. I'm not, I don't know on that. Because it makes it seem like this is really rough. <clears throat> uh, let me show you this one. Yes. The other skin, not what I want. All right, I love scene building. Um, so control pan, let's see about that one. So that was control panel without anything else there. <clears throat> okay. Um, maybe right there. What color were we looking at? It's yellow, so that's not this. <clears throat> we had control panel screen one. It doesn't make much sense, but who knows? EGV. Control panel, screen one. Oh, that's just the screens. So, oh, I was looking at a container on there. There we go. All right. <clears throat> So I don't mind as much about having the uh, the look of the dirt. So it looks like it's this one right here, just reversed. But we can definitely clean that up. Okay, so I need that. And normal map, then this one. Nope, probably should just export it. <clears throat> so this is going to show like where those cracks are. So right here it's going to be where that big nice um indent is here <clears throat> so the big thing with it is just decreasing its strength once it can get it open i could probably change the color too i could probably just make it gray Good enough. That'll be easy. I 
Actually, I'm going to grab it in a little bit. Grab it here. Okay. Okay, oh, time. There are no options available. Oh, maybe that was I. Anyway, yeah, I'm not getting any. Ah, there's a lock button. Still can't select anything though. Why is that? Did I button something? Because that's weird. Hmm. Well, when in doubt, restart the software. <laughs> <clears throat> Started weird as it was because it didn't go to the normal like starting UI. Yeah, that looks better. Aha, okay, uh, so something was weird. Alright. Let's get a light. Um, okay. Select inverse. Okay, so that. It's really bright here, but I feel like when it goes to black and white, it loses some of that uh, brightness. We're going to see if we can up that a bit. That should work. Okay. Well, make sure I'm not losing something here. Okay, M. Not much. If anything, let's try this. So we're going to instead hue and saturation. We're going to drop the saturation quite a bit. Well, first put it up. We want to make a blue. Let's say like that. Drop the saturation. So it's just kind of like a little bit of a slight blue. No. There we go. Do that. See, this is pretty equivalent. And it does not touch the panel here. That's the important thing. <clears throat> it's in pizza dinner. Is that just pizza? And was it really instant? Oh, the other thing I wanted to fix here. I wanted to get rid of some of this uh, extra crap. So, I'm going to grab right here. Oh, no, not right there. Right there. Yeah. Okay, so I want to make sure I'm not touching that area. if it's a rougher texture, not too much.
Okay, that'll do it in there. <clears throat> Is it the same? Yeah, essentially. At least I'm not going to care so much. Yeah, a little bit of rough spots work. Um, okay, that'll work. Maybe not perfect, but... Let's, let's move. Okay, and then the other one I want to open. Let's see if I can just do it with like, the drag again. There we go. Is I want to do about the same just to clear out uh, those little spots. Yeah, it's the same way. Oh, I have to be a little more careful though. I don't mind some rough spots, but I want to get rid of the majority of these main ones. I also want to make it look like it's just copy paste. So it'll be like that. Well, normal, normally when I'm doing a lot of the bump map stuff, it's just taking um, um, existing stuff and just half-assing it. This is uh, doing a little bit more. And by half-ass, I mean just convert a texture based on uh, contrast. Should work well for that. Um, oh, this is going to be a little tougher. We don't really need to worry about that one. Yes, okay. Um, nice thing is, this is right along here. So what if I just take this I don't want to just make it a flat color all the way across. So I'm trying to make it so that I'm not going I'm going mostly overriding but not full. Oh. That should work for at least for a good uh, actually I could probably just copy paste that and not give a shit. Which is what I'm gonna do. Look at that. It's like it was never there. I am a 
master of bump maps. Well, at least something to blend it with that edge bit. here but that's fine makes it uneven I will call that a success okay so this is the blue it's fine okay I'm going to say no, no, no level of detail. Um, this is the correct folder, right? Yes. So this was called something. Uh, HEV control panel. HEV control panel. Mm -hmm. Now we need the bump map. Okay. Let's see how this turns out. Okay, so on this one, First, let's do an override base texture with itself. And it does not like me typing underscores, so let's copy that and do. Um, might be a little strong in the blue, um, but I definitely like it a lot more. I think I'll drop down the blue a little bit, um, but at least this is a starting point. And then. Here. Half having it, okay, yeah. Pizza. Well, that, ooh, that's kind of neat. So, this was normal map. Okay, so that just overrode it with itself. And then we would. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's much better. So you still see the little rough bits here, which we knew would be the case right there. Um, when we swap the camera around to this side. It's a little rough on the front, but I'm not going to care enough. That should be fine. Um, the main thing I wanted it fixed at was right on that edge and I mean it's a little rougher down here too but it's not as easy to tell as it when that light was hitting it so that's good um the only thing I need to do then is go back here and let's drop down that um not contrast saturation there we go We'll go to about negative 50. Because usually it looks, metal looks better with just a very small hint of blue. It's weird because you can like type in the actual name of texture, but since it's using an override, it doesn't like put that in its library of reloads, whatever. 
Oops. Yeah, that's that's probably gonna work pretty good. Well, the only thing I can think of is to darken the texture a little bit, but I kind of like that it stands out just a little bit more than the rest of the surroundings. Yeah, I think I might, uh, I think I might stick with that. So that looks a lot better on that edge and compared to that. <laughs> Okay. Now, what else do I need in this scene? Um, you know, actually, what would might look really nice is having some like ground lights. Um, and I need a button. So, ground lights would be all I need to do that is. Well, actually, let me just look for a light. Because I might be able to use like a, a ceiling light or something to do kind of a ground light look. Because I what I could do is just use a like um, a 2x4, scale it down, make it self-illuminate, look like a light, um, and put it there. But... I would have to have it really bright to give the glow that I want, and at that point, it's not going to probably look very good. If I can take a model that already exists, like some kind of an overhead lamp, just turn it upside down, that might work. Either that or. I could even just shine light on the ground and just say that there's a light there. I could probably get away with it. Maybe. I can load it up. I should search lamp. Cause like something like, like this kind of, this is a little bit indented so it probably won't work very well. What is that? Oh, it's just twilight. Okay. There's another one. But even this would work. It's a little too bright. I'm guessing they have a myth a version of this that's not. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Nephot. Nephot. Nah. I wonder, like, let's say we just put them. Right here. I'm guessing that this is set to have self elimination. Yep. So we just go into our texture. I think the 
other one is bluish. No, that's the other one. Never mind. And we're going to take our self loom tint. It should go black. Yep, perfect. And then go to zero point three zero three zero three four. Oof, that's still overall a lot brighter than I wanted, but it still might be workable. to get this way too low to where it's almost just the same as going with nothing well let's just give it a shot by adding a light to it I'm going to make it an uber light, so I have a little extra control of it. I'm going to decrease its height, but I need to be precise. So I'm going to make that have some smaller values to work with. Let's drop the height all the way. Okay. I need to have the lights be, the bulb light needs to be strong enough. Then I have to like bump this up to balance it out. Okay, so my main concern here is that the light at least looks like it's actually going below the stairs. Okay, I think that this this is too bright right now. Down to that. Hmm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this. The point of this light would be to spread down, so let's just have a focus on that.
Okay, so I think that's the cut on light. No, it's not. Oh. There we go. Seems minor, like to put time into a floor light, but I think it'll give definition to the surrounding um, because it'll help these actually have definition. Because it is spreading to down there. I don't want that. At least if it is, I want it to be minor. I probably just want it to be like that. Not just eight now they mentioned pizza. I want pizza. Okay, so this would be spread low. Now let's do spread high. So this would be two. Because the bottom, I actually want the, the like to be strong at the low or on the floor but I want it to be um, just kind of present for the rest Okay, so that's why it was that high. Okay. Let's try moving that up a level. So this was placed about three notches off uh, from the center there. So this would need to be, this would be the third notch, but it's a little bit to the right. So right there. I think I just need to play with the lights a little bit more. So this, this one looks pretty good. This top light is built for the other direction. 
So I want to put that like here. This here. Center that a little bit more, maybe spread a little bit more. Same thing here. Okay, the ones up top needs to be a little bit brighter. I think I like the look when looked at as this seems off center. How's that off center? That's one, two, three. That was one, two. Ha ha. Seems that seems better. Okay. Well, still, these floor lights don't match up. Burger, burger. Where am I? Oh. floor you can see there though to work I'll keep him for now I'm gonna try ah oh. no Make the height on this a lot, like make it a lot thinner. So yeah, this is like a super thin line, and then make that a lot brighter. It's about as wide as I want to go, but I want to get a little thinner in the height. As thin as possible.
That actually works a bit better. I like that more. Um, I'm just going to decrease the brightness just a little bit. Yeah, I think before it was just too general of a light. This uh, creates a lot more of a central light spot that I think works better. These ones actually, I don't even care. I can just manually move them. They're easy to figure out. You go until it fits. Right there. They're too slow or too fast. I said be careful if I have anything cross the path on these. Because they will interrupt it. Might be able to decrease the general light up here then too. Okay, so I think I might have to dumb it down just a little bit still. Because it's going to be too bright otherwise. Well, you know what? I might just say F it and say that that is how bright they are. And just up everything else. You know what? I'm just opening them all. Let's be playing that game. Okay, uh, number two. Let's be a little bit brighter back there. Can I de or increase the floor light? I don't think I can do too much with these. Oops. Good job, Brandon. Where did this one? So jump down, we'll go to that one. Okay, so I have to be a little careful with this one. So I can light the floor, but these edges, I can't, I can see this part much more than I can see this part. So it makes it look like it's a bright line. I wonder if I should take this highlight. Focus on it like this. Hmm. Nah, I think I'm just gonna say whatever. It's good enough. Um, I 
I clicked and it said no. Did it say up there? I thought it's on the said in the console compressing fragments of Argo Damon. I'm like, what did they do to me? Oh, there's too much in there. So it undid something. Yeah, I don't think it did it undid enough to care. So now let's see if we can position all these lights over there. Actually, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. I expected that to be an S. Actually, it turned out pretty good. Um. Okay. Are the walls too far away for this room? I think they might be because if the camera turns and there's a good chance that it's going to be at least turned to a degree here um it might feel lackluster it being that i'd have to fill all that space with equivalent tech um and i don't want to do that i'm lazy uh I could you know what I will worry about that if it comes to that oh yeah so okay uh, we need to finish off what we had here just so I can copy paste everything um, so we have I was working on supports that was the supports for underneath there but I wanted to put something on the walls here oh you can't even you can't even really see the walls I think I'm gonna put them there just anyway um, then at least it's something in the wall there and that might be able to help pull everything in Come on, Mega Pack. There we go. I did kind of use this one. Feels a little extra dark, but it might. It should work. That could also work. So that might go in a little too much. This will go straight up and down. Let's do a quick check of other stuff. It's across support. Um, go back. 
like this one. Does it have bump maps? Yes, it does. You see the light in there. Okay, perfect. So I call this one support one and two. I'm gonna call this um, platform support. No, and then we're gonna call this wall support. yet okay so I believe these were all turned at 30 degrees to each other yeah 30 degrees um, so this should be turned at 15 to that so this would be at, so 30, so it'd be 45, yeah. Make it a bit bigger. be negative 45 just taking a guess here yes so this would be 30 more from here so that's 75 75 yes platform apparently not what kind of pizza Whatever you spell it, Supreme. Ah, okay. Yeah, we usually get um, we get lots of, lots of matzah if we have no other choice. But otherwise, we always get um, um, hedges, which I don't know how far out they are. And that's again, it's frozen pizza. Um, it's not a not one that's not uh, or a um, like joint, but a. Hedges pizza, or we've been getting um, Target brand, not like their frozen pizzas, but their refrigerated ones you can get right from the deli. They're actually like 
pretty cheap. Like they were on sale for six bucks each, which is normally they're seven bucks each. Who knows if five bucks each? They're on sale for five bucks each. And they're like I couldn't even put in my pizzazz, they're too big. Um let's see if I can slide another one of these next to this. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Just turn it some weird angle. Uh, let's go for 25. Well, actually, you know what? I can make that work. Let me put it in a little, a little bit more. We'll do that. To me, it's more important to maintain that consistency. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I um, we have a friend that I think it's uh, Costco that he get he that's all he eats is pizza, and uh, that's where he gets it too. Might be a bit too much though. Oh, that's too like not tacky. Um, what is that? I have an idea if I do this. If if I were to look at the wall. Now I'm just kind of having fun doing the um, the whole surrounding bits. I'm going to make that trim. Oh, that can be trim one. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to look over there, but I want to do it anyway. So I'm going to do that one's uh, 60. We'll do this one 30. Try to center that yellow parts of it. Gotta push that to the wall.
Yes, doing some scene building. How did your sleep study go? Hey, I'd be a little worried at first with pictures. The idea for this is um, I don't even know if this is going to work. Oh, I guess, yeah, you're probably not going to get an answer back on that right away. Oh no, it's for the earlier animation. I'm just trying to like suddenly just put in a scene that makes no sense that's overly complicated as it's part of the joke. So it's um So he gets pulled over and then Something like that. Still determined the, how to play around with that and time it, but um, it's getting there.
this is probably going to be... Yes, I thought. So, oh, no, it's the angle. Oh, maybe I can make this work. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to. Not like I wanted to, anyway. No, actually, wait, maybe I can. It's probably going to be, be... This is going to be... Uh, mid... Uh... Wow, Raid. <laughs> it's blur to blow on them. <laughs> Hello. Michael, you know who that is. That's Blur to Blah. He's here every stream. Yeah, I almost did too. <laughs> I might need to do that as two. I um, wonder if I can go. This is going to be hard to try to... Well, wait, maybe. maybe something like... I wonder if I can cheat this a bit. Uh... So there's that. But this is edge is really strong. <laughs> yeah, he's too fast. He's like, wow. I'll do like this, maybe. Because the main thing is, I want to I see if I can not hit the back wall, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Well, kind of. I'll go from here. You're not going to do that. <laughs> yes, that is, that is perfect reaction. <laughs> One. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll get him too. 
When you learn your lesson. <laughs> Let's cheese it. Same scene, same that like uh, that one. I'm just like doing stuff off to the side for some reason. I don't even know if I, um, if this is going to be ever visible. But I kind of was like, I want to see how this turns out. So um, I've been going with it. I got music going. Oh, I just realized that. Why is that not going through? Hold on. I got music playing. I don't know about you guys. Aha. Okay. Nobody. At least I didn't see anybody say anything. There we go. Yeah, I was playing with drivers the other day, and I had it. Oh no, it was because uh, last stream I had it running through my. I impromptu had it running out of my computer through my monitor back out to my stereo sex. I have it disconnected. And so I had it redirected. <laughs> I love this. Key Actually, I usually replace my keyboard like every two years. And I think I've kept this one for like a good four. Yes. You, you hit it perfect. Okay. Well, I kind of like the look of it. It feels um, bland on its own. I don't even know if it's worthwhile trying to even reposition all these. This works with such a shite window. happens to look close but it's not
Okay, so it needs to return more to the other direction. That way, move a little this way. There's a shadow light in there. Actually, that might come in handy. Yeah, I don't even know if that's going to be... Well, actually, you know, now that I look at it, that actually could work. Just getting all these positioned would be kind of a bitch. Well, that's pretty decent. Uh, actually, wait, the high, remember it's supposed to be, yeah, the inside walls, there we go. Low would be the low glow, should be fine, and then the rim. Ah, I think that's too far away for some of them. So which of these is shadowed? Oh, it's not shadowed, it's just the angle I'm working with. Okay. Yeah, actually I think that could work. I might have to darken it back here just to make it look like I don't need to put the light there. Um, but I think that could work, even though I don't actually don't need, know if I'm going to use it. Um, oh, that's just the general light. Okay. Ah, there's gonna be a good, a good buttload of lights. Whatever a good buttload is. Try. Um, just to there. This should not be showing, so I'm too close. Um, I think that actually works. Okay, so I'm not going to do that right away. I want to copy this to there, then I can copy it down. How was the hangover? Oh, yeah. Can I request some smooth jazz? Yeah. Let's see if Michael got it. Smooth jazz. Will be deployed. Smooth jazz. Three, Are you ready for some two, smooth jazz? One. Oh, 
wash it. It's so smooth. I can't oh, take man, it. Oh man, I'm slipping all over the place. It's so. Oh, actually, you know what? That's in here. It's probably gonna crash, but let's do it. Um. Uh, no, the the hangover on Saturday. Actually, I ended up. I woke up because I hadn't ate anything, and um, Kyle gave me way too much. Um, and I ended up like I slept about ten to eleven hours. I still didn't eat anything. I didn't eat for twenty four hours because uh, I couldn't put food down, and um, ended up. Um, uh, I got up. Yep, there we go. Um. Saturday morning, uh, took a long shower, ate a bowl of cereal that didn't want to stay down either, but f and then I ended up just like laying down for about two more hours um, to just let myself um, like settle. And then by about 1 or 2 p.m., I was essentially fine. I just am very, very susceptible to being... Um, uh, for vertigo so it uh, if I start getting lightheaded with stuff like that it takes me hard no I've oh god I've had black I when I was younger I used to drink a lot no the uh, or drink to the blackout stage and have um, more problems but no normally normally I'm fine it's just I hadn't uh, I ate um, breakfast or I ate a small breakfast and then I ate at like noon and then I drank super heavily from six until 10 and had no food uh, that entire time. So it was way too much with, uh, with no, um, with no in between, no, no food or anything. That's, that's when it hits me hard. If I eat some food, I don't, I have no problems at all. Let's see here, let's go to Jacks. This map was one of the first of the older portal no. maps that we beat up and decayed to bind the two games together. The smooth jazz joke is probably the old. Into the jazz club. That's not what I was looking for. Tours in the jazz club. Into the jazz club. Looks like the tour is in the jazz club. No. Because it's from Portal 2. This map was one of the first of the older portal maps that we beat up and decayed yeah. to bind the two games together. The smooth jazz joke is probably the oldest one. Okay, you get that instead. Oh, when I was younger, it wasn't as much about, um, uh, it was just about drinking heavily. So there is plenty of times where I remember waking up in the middle of the night in my friend's basement, which is pitch black because it was basement, no windows, no lights, and not knowing where I was or how I got there and nothing. So I didn't know if I took a step, what I was going into. Uh, yeah, that's, that was fun. So. Get. 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 Okay, sounds like she's saying that, but. Um, I still think this one's a little too bright, but I think that's just the other lights around it, because you can see this one's a little higher. So I'm going to let it go. Um, I don't see this working, but let's give it a shot. than I thought. I'm not going to try to puzzle them more than that, though. Well, I could probably utilize that to figure out how to move them.
Um, that looks pretty good. Probably, like, I could probably fill the floor with some more of these, like, tech stuff um, and just call it good and just, like, have these be the overarching ones. Decide if I if the wall or if like this whole area would continue around the other way. I think I might worry about that on a view by view basis. Because like if I were to say want to do a view where I went and looked this way, um, I could. Uh, uh, but if I do, I didn't, don't need any of this behind her, so I can probably just build it um, in that situation. Uh, I could really just take everything that exists right now and just flip it 180. that these are clipping. Oh, these are scaled differently, aren't they? Yeah.
I don't need to be this accurate with it, but I'm gonna copy paste it a couple times, so. both sides, but I think that after that I've got my useful, or, or as much as I can out of that shit, or this one anyway. So if I put that like there same three computer put on there three times. Uh, I thought I found another console. It's probably going to break because of the audio stuff. Um, yes, this is all in a dial-up modem. Uh, it all runs on uh, 28.8. It's not even, they didn't quite get up to the 56k technology. I thought about having other people manning the stations, but um, I don't know. I mean, I easily could, uh, but it's just going to be more work, I guess. I save now. Um, if I do, though, I don't want to give them a face. Um, I would want them to be faceless, like um, not only like drones, but. Like, I'm just all staring at the camera with just darkened faces. Actually. Why is this? Oh, it's not centered. Aha! That's fine. I don't care enough. I don't think you're going to see that. The main purpose of it is just to have uh, science. Um, I like it like this, perfect. It's, it's dark, it has that fog that gives a definition, but there's no actual, um, but there's no actual detail. So I'm, it's a stylistic choice, I guess. No, I'm not a I'm not a fan of horror at all. A lot of it is because I feel like uh, most horror is just built to be um, um, over the top and uh, for the point of gore, and I just don't find entertainment in it. Okay, first I need to make sure there's lights that glow. There is. That's all I care about. Okay, so I'll use these as, I'm not going to name it, I don't care, um, 
as like the, the wall of sorts indicating where the edge of where I want to go is. Um, so I'm going to say that it goes until the edge of that line right there, which I believe is the model separation. Yeah. Even then, I just, I don't know. I never, I just don't have any entertainment in, in horror. Uh, to me, I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, comedy and heart tuggers, which is essentially what I make. So, um, yeah, those are like the, the ones that I like to stick with. But that's, again, just me. So, everybody has their own... These could be useful for different reasons. Um, what was it? It's Fallout. I'm going to go to Black Mesa. Where'd they go? Console 010A something something. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna take these three. Like uh, when I was younger, I used to play. Um, uh, me and one of my friends used to always go and hang out. He and he got. I remember playing the original Resident Evil, uh, the very first one, and the second one, um, and it was a good lot of fun. Um, but uh, since then, haven't really uh, touched this stuff. Well, I like it. I don't like the top part. I wonder if instead of this, we're going to get rid of... Let's just say this one. I'm going to delete it. I can go get it again. We're going to take this. We're going to buff up its size. And we're going to move it. So it does kind of work, just as, because I thought I could hide those. Which, actually, you know what, I can hide them anyway. We'll do this.
it's actually kind of cool. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. Um, I don't think I want to fill every wall with the equivalent of that, though I could. The nice thing is, is that I can do that and make each look at least slightly unique. Um, because, like, I could take that other third one that I have and uh, mix it across. I, I like that. It's going to look, like, super techy and shit. I could actually have... I could utilize a higher camera then for this and do, like, a shot like this. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Too much work, ahoy! So we need that other console, console 1C. I can definitely utilize the rest of these. Okay. So I need to add. Oh, no, I don't need. Okay, I kind of do need. Um, this is going to be. Interesting for one aspect. So I'm going to go and load in a new model. We're going to go and grab. Uh, I don't want to have the numbers be visible on all of them. So I'm going to grab this one again. And I want to have that one be on the opposite side. bigger gap than this one. Probably make it work in a different way. Let's see on this one. Even this works. I don't know if you get up close. Rotating it to And then for this wall, I'm going to take this panel right here. Which one is that? This one. I'm going to see if we can instead use a single pan one and just bigger. And on this one then, I don't mind keeping those. Because it's only going to be a... Uh, a single. My main concern with uh, keeping them otherwise is the constant all the way across the wall part or thing with that. What's that a little bit? Let's go here. So 
Ugh. Okay, maybe I don't like those. They're a little bit too bright. Let me get down to there. Upside down. Just a teeny bit bigger. I don't care if the numbers are backwards, it's science. Okay. Science, so much science. It's and this will still let the bottom layers uh, level still remain dark. That's my main thing. Um, well, yeah, I've watched some people play some before. That's better. Um, um, but yeah, um, no, it was the, cause like when I was back gaming, um, like the heyday of my gaming was Super Nintendo, early PlayStation. And early PlayStation was when Resident Evil 1 and 2 came out, so it's old school. Saving up money because I was working at McDonald's for I worked at McDonald's for like two and a half years, and I remember saving up a whole bunch of money because uh, anytime I wanted to play any of the like next gen consoles or like at the time, so PlayStation or PlayStation Two, um, I always had to go to my neighbors um, because um, my family couldn't afford something like that just for me. Uh, I was a family of four and. Um, so I ended up working at McDonald's for a while and saved up um, a bunch of money and I remember buying my first PlayStation and I uh, was super excited. I think the first thing I got on there was Breath of Fire 3 or 4, I can't remember which, but I remember being so excited.
Yep, I'm, work I'm working on the big red button. It's getting there. It's on the list. Actually, that is negative 90. Oh, nice. Yeah, PlayStation 2 to me was, I mean, like, I was a big fan of Super Nintendo. I still like some of the greatest games ever on there. Um, like in terms of like old school RPG, Final Fantasy VI, um, Super Mario RPG. Oh, I wish they'd bring that out on the Switch. Yeah, some of the game, a lot of those on Super Nintendo were great. Um, but it was when PlayStation and PlayStation Two hit that I think, um, like that, those were some of the best uh, days in gaming for me. Uh, Final Fantasy VII, VIII, and IX. Um, um, I believe. It was called Vagrant Story. That was one of my favorites. Um, um, Legend of Dragoon. Uh, Xeno Gears. I did a lot of JRPGs. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Um, I think I played Disgaea. I think Disgaea was PlayStation 2. I ended up playing that again on PC because it's still a, a game that dated very well. Um, oh god. Oh, I'm trying to remember some of the others. I think Xenogears. Yeah, Xenogears and Legend of Dragoon, I think, were PlayStation 1. Legend of Dragoon might have been two, two though. Can't remember. I still have some of my old places you can see. I couldn't get rid of them. Uh, I used to have um, uh, the original black label of Xeno Gears, which at one point was worth like 150 bucks, and that was like 15 years ago. Uh, but then they started reprinting a game again with Xeno Saga came out, and the price uh, balanced back out a bit. Okay, so now we need to do our consoles a bit more. I want to be lazy and like get just big sets of console. Oh, that's a little bit much. Um, Cause I don't want to have to like set up a small little groupings of it. I'm lazy. Ah, oh, that's what those are from. That's from, oh, that's. I thought this was Stanley Parable. It is. Okay, good. 
I thought the uh, computers were too. Um, ooh, those could work. Main power. Oh, it's a big button. It's not a pushable button though. See, this is a good control console, but I'm trying to mirror things and there's no mirror of that. Ooh. That one's got a big button too. Main pump. That's a, that seems like a weird big red button for main pump. What's this one? Wart fire laser. What is with the big red buttons in the middle of consoles? I guess it's game design, but still. I guess I could have thrown that and such stuff too. Ooh. That might be too shiny. Questionable ethics. Okay. Nope, I think that will work. Actually, I wonder if that would work better as a like, final line. Like here. Yeah, I can move the pump closer then because it's going to better fit with this thing. This one's going to go a little lower. Put it there. Uh, copy, paste. So this one is essentially on top of. Because now it's popping up a little bit more. Over there. Close enough. I don't know where it's from. I just find it funny that it's like a firing laser. Fire! Fire! Main pump. I wonder if... You know what? I'm gonna go even better route with this. Um, I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna make these the back wall.
That should work. Not even gonna care about these being exact. So, just so I can get an estimate, 127. So I might, I'm going to extend the floor a little bit, just so that I have less to worry about with that. So which ones are... Just those. Missing one. So I'm not planning to extend that far, but my thought is, is I could utilize the camera coming in from like here then. Um, extend a little bit for just like no reason. I don't know. Um, if I keep it contained, I can definitely utilize that better. Um, if I did, um, I'd have to have some computers at least coming around or I guess I mean I don't maybe utilize uh, more platforms though raised floors that's what I call them so what is this one? Is the one I'm on? That's fine. Oh uh, no, maybe. So it's 180, negative 135. Say cut it there. This one already did. Doesn't really feel centered though. Oh. Close enough. 
pretty close. There, now it feels centered. Nope, and then we're going to do race floor zero again. I guess if I do it from this coming from down up here, I have to actually have her stand on the floor. I can put a raised platform, I don't care. But it looks like a control room. Oh yeah, button. Probably should do your button. So I probably should find the same one I used before. I think it was this one. Yeah, that's it. I'm trying to think of how I want to do it so that I slide to show the other button. Because I want to have two buttons. I want to have um, uh, a regular button and a science button. that I can button this. Yep. Whoa. Oh, I was stretching. I was like, whoa, that goes forever. It's a time lord button. Okay. That's the other thing I need to do. 
So for now, I'm just going to make two of the same button, but I think I'm going to change it so that this is a different button, and that, you know, I don't even care. Uh, paste button. I'll just put it as a placeholder for now. Uh, what is the... Rocket sign, how'd you get in there? Okay, so this is gonna be there. That's the thought. So this is going to light up no matter what. Oh, even the buttons light up. Ooh. So if I grab float self alum, I can't shut it off. That's what I'm curious about. Okay, so it is self-illumination tint that does it, but I can't actually shut it off. Because if I could turn it on and off, that'd be great. I know I can't turn it on with overrides, I thought maybe I could shut it off for some reason. Um, so that works for its little light thingy. Um, But how do I get it to... I want... Uh... Oh, I know how I can do it. Never mind. Alright, but the main thing I need to do now is... So I need to copy this sign. Okay, so now I need to make that, like, what font is this? So we're going to just type in rocket. Let's see if we can figure out what text we're looking at here. Um, so, 
could very much be that one. Um, about as bold as it's going to get, isn't it? Unless there's, is, uh, let me see that. Oh, this is just Ariel, so let's just do Ariel bold. Okay, so that's better. Um, I need the letters to be more compressed. So we'll do like that, and with more spacing. Oh nope, that E need. Okay, they need to be definitely a little fatter. Like that. I think I can get away with it, at least being close enough. Sharp setters. Okay, and I need to match that color, and I feel like it's not actually doing that right now. That's better. Uh, now we need to make this a science. Oh yeah, that's, that's definitely Ariel, and I think I got it about spot on. Okay. I don't want to have two imperfections on the same, but are two very similar buttons.
before. Okay, perfect. So it still looks fine. Ah ha ha! Sneaky little thing. Um. So it's got. Ah, I know I was doing that. Is it redirecting as normal? Normal. Map alpha environment map. Ah, ha ha ha. Yes. Uh, what does your normal map look like? Props gameplay? Okay. Sign gameplay 01 normal. Um, oh, unless... Aha! out isn't as important about getting right, but okay.
Okay. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Cause I want that. Take our science, select pixels, go back to our alpha layer. at like six is that I want to go the other way yeah so let's go hundred yeah cause fuck everything actually I'm gonna go with whatever that is all right now we should be fine. Why did this get pure? Well, I'm seeing a different channel. Oh, no, that's fine. Now it's popping up white. I want that white. kitchen sink I should get rid of that lingering outline So I have both buttons. Uh, probably want to have them spaced out a little better. Actually, these are not named. How I normally would name them button rocket. going by type before proper name. I'll keep those out for now. Yes, ice streams. We done pretty quick here though. Uh, I think we them all a little bit to the left still. Okay. Oops. Okay. Or about the lighting from that angle later. Let's 
so now I just gotta decide how I want to do the angle on this then. Hmm, I wonder if I can find a, a line before this. Something about like, that's good or, um, perfect. Um, I might be able to, there might be a, mani a maniacal laughter, but I'll have to check on that later. Now, fire the rocket! I'm gonna do some horrible lip syncing here. Hypothesis. This will be freaking sick. <laughs> the rocket. Hypothesis. Just something minor for now. Should definitely gonna need a little more life than that though. <laughs> well, I, I'm pretty sure she has some kind of a laughter I can steal. Um, there's a lot of like woo and those kind of like weird noises that she likes to make. But because if I add in something like that. I then I can delay the camera a bit. Fire the rocket! And instead, because I'm not going to use this one anymore. Um, and have it instead go to a 50. Oh no, actually, we went to 35 again. Because we could have it start like. Um, this is. Yeah, if I have, Hypothesis. if I could figure out a way to just delay it about three seconds, I could probably make it work like that.
sticky. I'll uh, I'll deal with that later though. Science horse. She's watching you. Cannot cannot escape from the science horse. silly horse all right anyways it's nine o'clock so i think for the most part this scene build uh for what i need it for is done um i think any additions that are made at this point are going to be minor so um are just for small aesthetic reasons uh like i thought about just throw some chairs in there and other junk to make it look um not just like standing panels, but people actually sat. Uh, but I think still I want to have her be the only one. Because I think it just, I don't know, it just it feels funnier that way. I cannot have, if I put anybody else in the shot, it cannot have a face at all. Or at least not a visible face, a dark face. Um, I want nobody else to be a part of it. But anyways, I'll deal with that. Uh, later, so, um, close, don't need that saved, or that, or that, so, uh, I will be back streaming Friday again, um, hopefully I get on actually at 6, so, um, all that, so, alright, have a, have a good, whatever, and have one mouse for meal. Alright, yeah. I have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs>